Hey guys, what is going on? It is the end of the year. 2022 is coming to a close and that means the Dollywood is coming to a close. There's only a couple days left at the filming of this, of the season. And then Dollywood will be closed for, uh, what is that? Two and a half months, roughly. Uh, no, three and a half months. Anyway, they'll be opening up uh, in mid-March. So what we wanted to do today was kind of talk about some of the things that are coming for the 23 season. Uh, there are four things that we are really looking forward to, kind of wanted to highlight in today's video, uh, that are coming to Dollywood in 2023. So let's go check this out. Obviously, the first thing we want to talk about is the opening of Big Bear Mountain. Uh, now, Dollywood is scheduled to open on March 10th, and um, that is a Friday, Friday, March 10th. We're hoping that they have a maybe a preview that coming week, um, maybe starting on the 7th, the 8th, or the 9th, that Tuesday through that Thursday. Uh, they'll have some preview for maybe diamond holders or uh, gold holders, and uh, we'll get to ride that uh, roller coaster when it, right before the park officially opens. But if not, we'll be up there on that Friday to uh, definitely take some rides on the new uh, roller coaster. This is a family coaster. It's uh, gonna run uh, roughly 50 miles an hour, up to 50 miles an hour. It does have a 100 foot uh, drop or so inside of it. And uh, we're really looking forward to that one and uh, seeing how that one turns out. I was kind of hoping for a bigger, uh, more of a thrill seeker style coaster uh, for Dollywood this year, um, but we're getting uh, another family coaster nothing wrong with that I have a family you guys know that you've seen my family in all my videos and uh, we're, we're all looking forward to riding it um, there is a rumor floating around out there again just a rumor that um, another coaster will be coming to Dollywood within the next two to three years maybe 2025 or 2026 and uh, that coaster should be a larger thrill style coaster uh, there's some other videos out there that you can see people have kind of mapped out some areas of where maybe uh, that would be but uh, we won't go into all that but we're going to talk about what we know for sure is coming and what we know for sure is coming is Big Bear Mountain and uh, it is scheduled to open again March 10th right now that is when uh, they're scheduled to open up Dollywood for the season now we talked about opening Dollywood on March 10th and uh, one of the things that we're excited for is they have added 15 more calendar days, open calendar days, to their schedule for next year. Um, so that is 15 more days to go enjoy the park. We are there at least once a week, if not more than that. And so that will definitely give us some more days to go and vlog and to show you guys uh, what's going on in the park through all the festivals and different things that we try to show you guys here in our videos. So yeah, Dollywood will be adding 15 more days to their schedule. Um, their schedule opens up officially on March 10th. That is Friday, March 10th. And it will close on December, no, excuse me, January the 6th. So they're actually extending the calendar uh, that full week of January, the first full week of January next year. So it'll actually be January 2024. Right, right. January 2024, they will be extending uh, the calendar into January for a full week, which I don't really remember them doing that before. Uh, and in the month of December, they only are closed for four days. Uh, December 2023, they are closed for four days. There's a couple Mondays that are closed. They're closed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but that is it. Um, so the whole month of December and the first full week of January, they will be open. So that's that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We also are looking forward to, um, if you're wondering what I'm looking at here, I've got my computer set up behind me and I've got my iPad set up over here. So <clears throat> got some notes going, got a, the Dollywood calendar up. But uh, some of the other things that we're looking forward to is the uh, new festival. Uh, this is a sort of an abbreviated uh, schedule for a festival. Uh, it starts March 11th and runs through April 8th, so it's actually a little less than a month. The I Will Always Love You celebration. Celebrate the 50th anniversary of one of Dolly's biggest hits, I'll Always Love You, during the all-new I'll Always Love You celebration taking place March 11th through April 8th. 
the festival kicks off the 2023 season commemorating the art of songwriting and the stories behind the songs. In addition to honoring Dolly's iconic status as a songwriter, the event will recognize a number of noted and up-and-coming singer-songwriters with performances throughout the park. Look for special park decor and delicious culinary offerings as we celebrate this momentous occasion. So, with that being said, I got a couple things out of that. One, uh, they're going to be offering some food that will be tied to that festival, which is perfect. We absolutely love the festival foods uh, that they bring to the park just for those particular festivals. Now, the I Will Always Love You celebration, what's it going to be? We don't know. That's really what I just read, you guys. That's all they've announced about it so far. So I'm sure there'll be more coming up about that in the next uh, couple months, probably. Probably before Dollywood officially opens uh, in March, they will have more information out about who's performing, where they're performing, uh, what kind of foods they're going to have, things like that. So we're really looking forward to that. All right, secondly, the festivals that we know for sure are coming back next year because they've already announced them. You have the I Will Always Love You celebration March 11th through April 8th. You have the Dollywood Flower and Food Festival April 21st through June 11th. You have the Smoky Mountain Summer Celebration, which is June 17th through August 6th, and that is the uh, Summer Nights Dance and Drone Show. Then you have the Dollywood Harvest Festival, which is September 22nd through November 4th, and that's also featuring the Great Pumpkin Luminites. And then you have everybody's favorite Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas, November 11th through January 6th. So next year we get one, two, three, four, we get five festivals. Now, I know there's been a lot of people out there clamoring for some of the older festivals to come back. Uh, two of those festivals being the Blues and Barbecue. Blues and Barbecue? No, Bluegrass and Barbecue. Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival and the Festival of Nations. Um, maybe in 24 or 25, maybe we'll see something like that come back, but I do not think that next year we're going to see any of that come back. Uh, I think what we have next year is what we have. We get one new uh, celebration or festival with the I Will Always Love You celebration. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do there and how they kind of spin that into a whole new event. And again, that's for next year because it's the 50th anniversary of it. So what happens in 24? Maybe they go ahead and add one more festival back to it. Um, and maybe that is the barbecue and bluegrass festival or the festival of nations i think i could probably see the barbecue and bluegrass festival coming back before the festival of nations but we'll see what happens so there's that so the next thing <laughs> opening of the new heart song lodge and resort uh, Dollywood has made uh, some large improvements over the past few years to really expand the park, the footprint of the park. Um, so you've got Dollywood itself has expanded and they keep expanding and they're going to continue to keep expanding. And then you've got uh, Dollywood Splash Country, uh, which they haven't really added a whole lot, a whole lot new to that area in a while, but they have the, the Dream More Resort. And now in 2023, and it's going to be late 2023, we're thinking probably in the fall is what, kind of what they've announced, the new uh, Heart Song Lodge and Resort will be opening. So that'll be cool. We'll make sure we'll be bringing you guys videos of uh, all of that when they do drop that information. The new lodge, when it opens up, it's going to be roughly in that same area. Uh, Dollywood's kind of taken over the, that whole space back there where Veterans Drive is, that, uh, that whole area is just going to be pretty much basically Dollywood. Um, it's a it's a mini Disney World. Uh, you know, you look at the Disney World properties, how it's it's arranged with the resorts and the parks. Uh, Dollywood is is seemingly kind of taking a a, a, uh, a page out of out of their playbook and doing a lot of the same things. They are um, building things where you can stay pretty much on property. You don't ever have to leave the property if you don't want to. You can go from the resort to the water park, resort to the park and kind of back and forth. Um, and I would expect them to add even more things in the future. I think by 2030, you know, another seven seven years from now, I could see a third resort coming through. Um, and I would ex expect the park to be expanded significantly uh, by that point uh, with an additional two or three roller coasters uh, and maybe even a dark ride or two. That is the one thing that I really wish Dollywood would add 
is a, a couple more dark rides. Because uh, once the weather is bad there at Dollywood, you don't really have any place that you can go. There's no ride you can go ride uh, and kind of get out of the weather and uh, continue to have some fun other than the Blazing Fury. Uh, that's basically the only dark ride uh, that the park has right now. There were some rumors that Big Bear Mountain was going to be a dark ride, maybe an indoor outdoor roller coaster, something like they've done at Universal Studios down in Orlando. Uh, but it turns out that is not the case. So we're still hoping that uh, Dollywood in the next couple years, uh, maybe they'll add a dark ride. Maybe that's what comes next year. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, yeah, so there you go. That is uh, just a little bit about what is coming up for the 2023 season. If you guys have something you're looking forward to, make sure you drop a comment, let us know, and uh, like and share this video. We appreciate you guys and hope that you had a Merry Christmas and uh, hope that you have a great new year. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.